why is DALI 3 better than DALI 2? Well, maybe the difference between them is not so visible from these two generated images, but rather here. Why can DALI 3 create so many details we have specified in the text prompt? Well, it's mainly because DALI 3 trained on better captions than DALI 2, but we do not know every other technical improvement since the technical report from OpenAI does not contain too many details about DALI 3, as the authors kindly point out in footnote 5 on page 10. In this video, we will see what we know about DALI 3 and how a simple trick helped DALI 3 become so much better at following prompts than its predecessor. But first, let's thank Gradient, the sponsor of today's video. I've always wondered how a bank or a hospital could use a large language model to give capable answers about things that are stored in their private databases, especially since their industries are so complex. Well, Gradient is here to help. Gradient offers out-of-the-box industry expert LLMs that come highly tuned for specific industries like healthcare, financial services and compliance. Even more, through simple API calls, you can fine-tune LLMs and combine them with your own private data to improve the model's skill and understanding of your organization. You can also use Retrieval Augmented Generation, where the LLM can look up things in your proprietary database while generating the answer. I know industries like healthcare and finance are highly regulated, so luckily Gradient is both SOC2 and HIPAA compliant, which is great for the US. But it's also great for the EU since Gradient is GDPR compliant and you deploy within your private environment, so your data never leaves you. Check out Gradient in the link in the description below. Now back to the video. DALI 3 is out. It is a diffusion model that you can use as a ChatGPT Plus user and through Bing Chat. Here is a short timeline of how OpenAI progressed image generation since 2021. January 2021, OpenAI released DALI 1, which generated images with an autoregressive transformer, basically from top to bottom. The pictures look good, but were small resolution and without many details and also a bit blurry. December 2021, they switched to diffusion models with Glide that generate an image from noise step by step. We have many previous videos about diffusion models if you want an explanation for them, see the playlist. Funnily, Glide was not yet named like an offspring from DALI 1 because they are architecturally so different. But then April 22, OpenAI decided to go full in diffusion models and leave the autoregressive legacy of DALI 1 behind and release DALI 2, which is a modified Glide model incorporating clip embeddings. And now, since August 2023, DALI 3 became available for just researchers and, as of October, for a wider audience through Bing Chat and ChatGPT+. Its ideas are building on latent diffusion models. The architecture in Stable Diffusion released August 2022 with researchers from LMU Munich and Runway ML. And now you will see what exactly OpenAI has disclosed about DALI 3. Well, not so much about the architecture since it's a latent diffusion model based on a unit and uses T5 for encoding the text prompt, but further technical changes are undisclosed. But now the interesting training trick of DALI 3 that the authors describe is about its training data. Because what was the problem of DALI 2? It had troubles following the prompts exactly. It misunderstands them or misses details. And this is no wonder because the image caption datasets are scraped from the internet so they contain images and their alt text as caption. Since me and you do not even remember when we last wrote an extensive and descriptive alt text for our website pictures, it is no wonder that these captions are short, talk mainly about the image subject but miss out on details about the whole scene, the surroundings, background and all the tiny details in it. So because the training data does not have lengthy and detailed descriptions, the diffusion model is bad at details because it has never been exposed to them. So the idea here for DALI 3 is to take the existing images and generate such lengthy and detailed captions synthetically and then train the diffusion models on those. 
But how to create these synthetic captions? Well, by using an image captioner, basically a transformer language model with clip image embeddings as input. Image captioners like this one are really good these days, but also they reflect the training data for short and undetailed captions, so it was still reluctant to describe the details of the image. So the authors fine-tuned the captioner on a small, human-written set of elaborate and detailed captions that describe many things in an image, the subject in detail, then the background, and the whole scene, the colors the objects have, the style of the picture, and so on. With this image captioner, they recaptioned the training data set of DALI 3 and trained DALI 3 with 95% synthetic captions and 5% actual captions written by humans. And yes, the authors ablated between 80%, 90%, and 95% synthetic captions and found that 95% gives the greatest similarity between real captions and the generated image. But what about 98%? We do not see how this would play out in this graph. This simple trick of synthetically making the data better helped a lot, because human annotators preferred DALI 3 over Midjourney and Stable Diffusion XL version 1 in the author's human evaluation experiments. The authors also show with Stable Diffusion-like baseline models that a model trained on synthetic captions still produces images similar to human written captions, because here the blue line of the model trained on synthetic captions is not very far away from the yellow line of a model trained on human-generated captions when it comes to the similarity of the generated image to the real caption. This similarity is computed by the clip model by embedding the generated image through clip's visual branch and embedding the caption through its text branch. Therefore, it is called clip score. Also, the model trained on synthetic captions, the blue line, increases the similarity between the generated images and the synthetic captions, which is expected by design of the training. So yeah, this was the simple trick making DALI 3 so good at following prompt details and it was all about synthetic data. The trick is so simple, no wonder that Google Research published the same idea of synthetic captioning just a few days after the OpenAI paper came out. You can check it out, it is very similar, and even the experiments from Google are on stable diffusion, just like OpenAI's. So synthetic data looks like a good idea so far, though we are wondering how far this can go and whether the image captioner introduced some peculiarities in the text prompts that people could then eventually exploit. After all, we have seen in a previous video how with each step of training a model on synthetic data, its distribution gets skewed and if repeated many many times it degrades catastrophically. What do you think of OpenAI's technical report? Since they do not release what else they innovated for DALI 3, other than the recaptioning of the training dataset, I wonder why they released this idea and not also the others. Maybe they just wanted to release it before Google Research was planning to? Anyway, if you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe to the channel and see you around.